Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a driver power seat failure error or blue screens on your Windows computer. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So whether you're going to be booting into safe mode or safe mode networking or you're able to get into the normal Windows operating environment, we're going to have a command we're going to try and run through the elevated command prompt. So, in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and just start by opening up the Start menu. I'll click on the Start button one time. Type in Command Prompt. Best match should come back with Command Prompt. Right click on that, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now, I'm going to have a command that starts with reg add in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here. Right click, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once you pasted it in, you want to hit enter. You should see the operation completed successfully. And now there's going to be a second command that's going to say net start, so MSI server, basically. So, again, you can copy that in my description or type it in. This one isn't as long, so I'm going to copy and paste it like we did the first one. And I'm going to go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click, left click edit, and left click paste. You can see it on my screen right here before I run the command. I'm going to hit enter. Give it a moment here to start up. And once you're done with that, I would suggest seeing if you've been able to resolve the problem. If you have any recently installed applications, I would consider uninstalling them and seeing if it resolves the problem, or at a minimum, try reinstalling it. If you have any system restore points, feel free to just type in system restore into your start menu. Try and go back to a previous point in time. I notice that can sometimes have some success. So definitely worth a shot. Do I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.